Hi, I'm going to talk about ratio. Let's look, think of an example. Um, suppose that I want to make a cake. Now, we need some ingredients and let's say I need some flour and I need some sugar. Alright, and I need them to be in a certain amount. So I can't use too much flour and I can't use too much sugar, otherwise the, take, the, the cake will not taste good. So, just, uh, just to make up some numbers, suppose that I need, um, say, 50 grams of flour and 40 grams of sugar. All right, and I find that when I use this um, amount and bake my cake, it's very good, it's very tasty. So then I remember that next time I should use these amounts to make, bake my cake. But then, what if I want to make a bigger cake? I need to use more flour and sugar. So if I want to use more flour and sugar, how much more should I use? Well, that's where the idea of a ratio comes in. If you look at these two amounts, all right, I have 50 grams of flour and 40 grams of sugar. Suppose that I want to make a cake that is two times bigger. So I must use, instead of 50 grams, I must multiply by two, 100 grams of flour I must use, and I must also multiply the sugar by two, and that's 80 grams. So the idea is that if I increase both by the same amount, I should get a cake that is equally tasty. <clears throat> right. Now, so that's okay, but it's a little bit complicated to remember 50 and 40 or 180 all the time. So the idea is to use a ratio, a simple num some simple numbers to help us to remember. And ratio means that I think about the relation between the 50 and the 40. All right, and I write it down as next to each other, and I use this symbol, a colon between them. So by writing down two numbers with a colon between them, that's called a ratio, and that is supposed to represent a certain relation. Right, in the sense that if I think that the two amounts, the two uh, things like flour and sugar, if you think that the weight has to be in this ratio, what it means is that it can be um, any number, like these two numbers or those two numbers, as long as those numbers, as long as I have the same number of times of this number for the flour and the same number of times of that number for the sugar. Okay, and what this also means is that I can think of these two numbers like um, a fraction. That means that I can tr I can actually make this two numbers simpler if I divide both numbers by the same number to make it smaller. For example, if I divide both numbers by 10, I get 5 is to 4. 
semicolon 4. And the idea is that this would represent the same ratio because if we think of the way we have used um, the idea for the flour and sugar in the cake, then those two are the same ratio because if I multiply both the 5 and the 4 by the same number 10, I'll get 50 and 40. Alright, if I multiply those two numbers by say 20, I will get 180. So you can use this relation between the two numbers by multiplying the same number to both and you will get the answers that you need for, for whatever you want, want to do with the ratio. Okay, and the way we describe this relation Right, the, the colon here is the way to write it, the simple way to write it. But the way we describe this ratio is to say 5 is to 4. So in words, it will be 5 is to 4. That's one common way to say it. Right. Um, now, if um, let's think of this in another way, uh, if supposing that we have a certain amount of say sugar and I want to divide this into two parts, let's have a look. If I have some sugar, say I have 100 grams of sugar. Now suppose that I want to divide them into two parts. Now the two parts must have the ratio, let's say um, 2 is to 3. Okay, so what this means is that when I divide the sugar into two parts, the ratio of those two parts must be uh, 2 equals 2 is to 3, so that I can find some numbers to multiply by those two numbers so that I get the amounts that I need. So I want to divide this into two parts, one part and two parts. Okay? I must find the same number so that when I multiply by 2, I get that number. Multiply by 3, I get that number. So that is how we un would understand ratio as I explained just now. But to actually find the answer, okay, what we do is this. We think of the 2 and the 3, like we think of fractions, like we think of the different parts different number of parts in a simple fraction. So, we think of the 2 here as 2 parts of something and the 3 here as 3 parts of something. And altogether, 2 plus 3 is 5. We can think of the whole lot, the whole 100 grams as being divided into 5 parts. So you just add the two numbers and think about that as the number of parts. So now, if we divide 100 into five parts, each part is 20 grams, all right? Now, the five parts there comes from adding two to three. So we think of that as the number of parts we must divide the sugar into, and this gives 20 grams. So when we say we want to divide the sugar into the ratio 2 is to 3, we can think of 2 as 2 parts of the 20 grams, so that would be 40 grams. So take the 20, multiply that by 2, the 2 coming from the ratio there, and the other part should be 20 times 3. 
and that gives 60 grams. Right, so that's the simple way to find the actual amounts if we know the original amounts and the ratio. Right, we'll stop here.